Just because it's on the internet, it doesn't mean that it's true. Oh, absolutely. So, ladies, every time you see a woman give advice on TikTok or flashing a luxurious lifestyle, remember. Just because it's on the internet, it doesn't mean that it's true. And just because five guys say that it's okay to cheat on your wife or girlfriend, it doesn't make it okay. Yes, well, maybe it's not okay, according to the wife or girlfriend, but at the end of the day, sweetie, if he makes more money than you, has higher social status than you, and he bankrolls your entire existence, like in your case, not only is it okay for him to go eggplanting other women, it's only natural. Ladies, this is one of the most important things I have ever learned. And this is how I protect myself from heartbreaks and disappointments. Don't you ever fall for a guy because he's funny, cute, sweet, handsome, rich, whatever. Fall only for his actions. Because only his actions show what kind of person he really is. So, let me get this straight. Looks and riches don't matter. It only matters if he treats you right. So, that means you'd date this guy if he were to treat you right. Right? No, no! No! Oh! This is not how this was supposed to go! Uh-huh. Didn't think so. Just because it's on the internet, it doesn't mean that it's true. Every time I see a woman I want to talk to, my first thought is, do they really want to be approached? I feel like it doesn't matter how it makes you feel! What's so hard about dating in our modern world is that all the nice, like, respectable men don't want to bother us, and so they never talk to us in person, and all the jerks don't give a and they're the ones who approach us, so then we're like, stop approaching us, and all the nice guys are like, okay, we won't, and it's just an endless, miserable cycle. Actually, sweetie, you do get approached by nice guys, but the interaction goes something like this. How was your day? Oh my gosh, what? Hello. Or not. Hello. How was your day? This is too much going on. What is too much? What did I, I do? Um, hold on. What'd you say? How was your day? <laughs> Why do you do so much of this hand movement? I don't know. I, that's how I formally talk to people. I don't know. That's how I live life. I live life to the fullest, you know? Can I try to have conversations with people, talk to people? Okay. Are you recording me for like your TikTok or something? <laughs> you just make me uncomfy. His approach is not like the bad boys you're used to, so you automatically friend zone him or he just gives you the ick. But guys, you ever notice that a lot of women don't even have nice guy in their vocabulary until they're post-wall single moms? Funny how that happens. And for all of you white knights out there thinking this is your chance to get lucky, think twice. Because you're gonna be paying for it, but Chad's gonna be slaying it, not you. What I think of Fresh Fit and Tate is that both of them suggest that they were so extremely rejected by women growing up. Women probably didn't give them any attention, they were probably not very attractive, they probably weren't very wealthy. It's just us two. Oh, you're full. Full. Okay. No full. Dream classic, dream classic. Nathan and Andrew have been looking for a cheap hotel for well over an hour, but haven't been able to find anywhere within their budget. There's nothing else in town. We've looked everywhere. It's not like we haven't put effort in, so we're just going to tell the girls that we're sharing a room we're with them. We're going to have to share a room. Spent two hours walking all the way up and back. Trying to talk mm. Indonesian to everyone. Yeah, a couple of them were fully booked. All the rest were um, too expensive. The only solution I can think of is if we stay here again, but we're going to have to share a room, all five of us. Sweetie, that was footage from a TV show. Hardly validates your point. But let's take Andrew Tate out of the equation. You just confirmed that a lot of women reject men, often extremely, if they're not attractive or wealthy. This is a fact, and I'm not gonna deny it. But you see, nowadays in the Western world, all we hear about is equality. Well, here's how equality works. Average men 
marry average women and make average babies. But that's not what's happening. Because average women don't want their equal, they want someone superior with more money, more status and top-notch looks. That means the average man gets left out and that oftentimes gets rejected. Well, that is a valid reason for an average man to be resentful, because when it comes to men, nothing about modern dating is fair or equal. And no matter what the modern narrative may be, reality is obvious. Women are, but men must become. And when an average man gets his looks and money right, he is no longer average, and he has every right to enjoy the fruits of his labor which includes speaking his mind. That's how you get someone like Andrew Tate. That's how you get fresh and fit. And it doesn't matter if half of what they say or do is BS or not. They still get women because they have money and they still get an audience because they are perceived by a lot of men as an alternative to the modern narrative, which is an unfair society detached from objective reality. And that's the bottom line, cause don't go censor! <laughs>